Hello beautiful Scorpios, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. We're here for a traditional love meeting for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're enjoying the beginning of the holiday season here, at least in the U.S. Um, and around the world though, we know the holidays are coming. So let's see what we have here at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio, there you are in your reading. Ta-da. And here's more Scorpio energy, the judgment card. You are releasing something, an attitude, a person, a situation. Three of coins. You have a very collaborative love energy coming in here. Okay, I like this energy. I love the Scorpio king. Sexy kind, loving, sensual. All right, so let's see what we have here. In the recent past, the mutual energy between you and a lover is a hanged man, not really taking action. Don't know why we're having a little focus issue here, but um, so really looking at things from a different perspective. Pisces, you might be dealing with the Pisces, Capricorn, or another Scorpio. But really trying to become enlightened, trying to figure things out in the recent past. Let's see what the mutual is currently, the energy. Ooh, Libra energy, wanting to be balanced. Definitely wanting to think about a very serious relationship with each other. Libra, the Libra, the Justice card can mean things like wanting to get married, but it's always the seventh house on the astrology wheel of committed relationship with a legal component. So living together, where you buy a house together, you share rent together, but it's a very powerful energy right now, Scorpio. All right, how does your person view the situation? Seven of Swords. They're trying to get, they're doing reconnaissance on you, Scorpio. They're sneaking around trying to figure out what you're doing. They may be online checking on you, checking on your social media if they have access to it. If you have blocked them, they are trying to spy on you anyway. Maybe making up a fake name or profile. That is a card of uh, untruth. It can be lying. The Ten of Swords, how they view you. They view you as somebody who walked away, somebody who's had enough, somebody who felt stabbed in the back, Scorpio. Let's see how they feel in their heart space. The Tower card, ooh, they are having an awakening. They are realizing that you added so much to their life, Scorpio. That is, um, that's the sign of Aries, a lightning bolt. They thought they were always going to have your attention. Scorpio, the Tower card has, this person feels as though the relationship has been destroyed, that they brought the Tower card down, that it was a lightning bolt moment, that something they did or something they said that you just had had enough. It oftentimes is a blow up, like in an argument. So for many of you, you you're going to know who this is. That's There's no doubt about that. The energy right now, the way they see the future uh, with you is the Ten of Pentacles. They do see the relationship unfolding in a way that would have deep stability, that you would be married, that you'd both contribute, that you would create a legacy love, one in which, you know, it's a till death do us uh, part. It's Virgo energy. It's very strong energy about being successful. This person definitely would want to have uh, financial success with you, a life of luxury with you, a life of living happily ever after and considering children and grandparents and careers and, you know, but it's a very happy card. So that is how they view the future. Not sure how they think they're going to go from these cards to that one, but it'll be interesting. We will clarify as we always do. The mutual energy between the two of you is moving towards each other slowly, Virgo energy. Ten of Swords energy is Gemini. Hanged Man is Pisces. So let's see. We have the Ace of Coins. Spirit is saying, make an offer. Think about this offer very carefully. If you see this Ten of Coins here, it can be an engagement ring when paired with the Three of Cups, but we can see the value. This person does bring value into their life, into your life, 
as we see that coin here, we see it reflected here. So it does say that you should at least consider their offer. The outcome, eight of coins, great. So the eight of coins is all about learning and it looks as though whatever happened here, whatever sneakiness, whatever, you know, event made you probably really just tell this person like to hell with you or whatever you said or, you know, whatever, but it really shows a very powerful sort of moment in time that you both have learned from. That eight of coins is all about learning how to make things work at a practical level. Let's see what the energy is for you for the clarifiers here. Let's see what we have. Why is judgment here? Tell us something about judgment, please. Why is it here? Oh, wow. Twin flame, 11-11. The naked heart tarot is the only one with the twin flame card dedicated. It's number 22 in the tarot deck. Usually tarot decks end with the world card at 21. So the overall energy is that you both know that you are twin flames. The four of coins and the three of coins says that you both have a strong desire to hold on to one another, not really letting each other go, always being in the heart space of the other person, being um, sort of jealous, covetous, this Scorpio King, well, we know, Scorpio, you are all the sign about death and rebirth, endings and new beginnings, and so we do see the Fool card. So both of you really would like to have this. So that is the overall energy, and it is a powerful energy, even more so with the clarifiers. So Scorpio, look at Three of Cups. It looks like you have maybe recently seen this person at a social situation where are their friends what did i say three of cups ace of coins could be an engagement i like them in closer proximity but it also may reflect the fact that you had talked about marriage and you were you know there was some thought of engagement at one time in this relationship but let's see why is the justice card here well we have a lot of cards that fell out so we have the star card oh beautiful that is a spiritual card of deep love, healing, learning, uh, ascending, really ready, you know, in this moving into the spiritual divine readiness and preparedness for love. We have the Spirit of Swords, King of Swords energy, being very strategic, being very mindful, being very aware of the consequences of what's gone on. And here we have it again, the Ace of Coins twice now. An offer is about to come forward for you, Scorpio. And it is mutual energy. Both of you want this energy. You want a new beginning. This is a powerful reading. Ace of Coins now next to the Three of Cups. Now that's an engagement. This is like maybe there is or maybe there was one, but currently this energy, this energy with that Three of Cups is powerful. Okay. So what was, what needs to be revealed? The Seven of Swords is the situation is in, at a point where you're not necessarily being very obvious with each other. Five of Swords. Okay. So... There have been some sort of mind games in the past, and there's a desire for on your person's part to see if you're really interested in them. They're not sure if you're really interested. The Four of Cups is all about like being bored with somebody. The Five of Swords indicates there's, you know, there's a real feeling that there's been so much damage. But here we go, Empress card, the manifestation. This person really wants you. You represent the Empress to them. That's Venus, everything beautiful. You know, the Empress is a queen of the queens, ruled by Venus. <clears throat> so they want you. They don't think they deserve you. Ten of Swords, why is it here? Ten of Swords is clarified by the Ten of Swords. Oh my goodness, numerically speaking, what are the odds in Vegas that that would happen between 156 cards that those two would line up perfectly? Tell us more, please. Devil energy. Somebody was very toxic in this relationship and you walked away from the toxicity. You had an epiphany. You had a profound moment, Scorpio, when you just had had enough. The wheel of fortune is now turning in your favor. So, you know, the wheel went down. 
you had that Ten of Swords energy. What's the Wheel of Fortune energy coming forward here in this relationship? Okay, I like this. We have the Six of Swords energy moving forward, healing. We had the Star card here. Let's see, where's that at? Yep, the Star card is also healing. A time of powerful healing. This person's moving forward towards you. And the Lover's card, they do think that you are open to them at this time. That's, that board looks, this looks so crazy. Okay, that's better. Okay, why do we have the Tower card? What was the epiphany? What was that lightning bolt about? <clears throat> the Magician card. Okay, so you're wanting... Your person wants to manifest you back and they do have the tools to do it they are going to apologize to you Scorpio a big 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 apology look at this heart of swords they do not think you're necessarily going to take them back they know that you're very fair and they know that they have to you know say pay penance they have to pay their dues here what else about this we see judgment card so when we get the justice and the judgment card i would say that for many of you this person may have gone off after you broke up they may have married somebody else and that marriage may not have lasted very interesting energy scorpio well it'll resonate differently with everybody but it does show this person judgment means they're releasing everything and everybody else they want you they're very fearful though you know, that is Venus and Pisces. This person does not know if you would take them back. But, ooh, they're coming in with King of Cups energy after you, Scorpio. Look at that. Wow, they really want you. Why is the Ten of Coins here? Seven of Coins. They want to invest in a long-term, committed relationship with you, Scorpio. Six of Wands, that is oftentimes a very public engagement, but they want a victory with you. Leo energy. So we have a lot of energy here on the board. I think we have all the different energies. Do I see Sagittarius energy? Not quite. I'm not seeing Sag, but I'm seeing Libra, Gemini. I'm seeing Aquarius. I'm seeing Taurus. I'm seeing Cancer. I'm getting Cancer. I get Gemini again. Scorpio again. We get Virgo energy here too. But look at what popped out. This person broke your heart and they know they have to come back and fix it. The Three of Swords is Libra energy again. So those are the predominant energies. The Six of Cups, they want a reunion. Okay. The Four of Wands, that's the 1111 card. That's the Twin Flame card. So we see this person feels so they want to be, that's a marriage card also. And they want to take you off the market, Scorpio. I love it. Okay. So Scorpio, Scorpio, what has happened? Let's see, you're moving towards each other. Virgo energy. So there, it looks as though, I don't necessarily know that communication has come in yet, but you're definitely in a situation where you may run into each other. It's some sort of social event or mutual friends because we have a friends card. So both of you are moving towards a new beginning. We get the world card with the fool card that's slowly moving towards something better, leveling up. You think this person thinks the world of you nine of cups joy and happiness. So when things were good between the two of you, they were amazingly good. So the Ace of Pentacles here, why is it here? It's time to make a choice. Time to let go of the burdens. Let go of the past. Take the offer, Scorpio, is what Spirit is saying. That this would be a, a lovely opportunity. Spirit of Wands, King of Wands. So you have somebody in who might be a Leo. Might be a Leo energy. And we have the Eight of Pentacles wanting to get to know each other better get to know all about each other it looks as though the two of you are quiet but you may have some telepathic communication or some secret communication going on ten of cups happily ever after oh my gosh ten of coins ten of cups four of wands the 
twin flame card. Oh, Scorpio. Spirit is saying that this person let go of the burdens, let go of the past, and invest. So Spirit is very supportive of this relationship. So let's see what the energy of the feral, excuse me, Heart of the Fairy Oracle energy cards. Let's see what they say about the relationship. Okay, cards are popping out here. So this person in the past, and we can see it here, was really not fair. They stole your heart. Let's see what else we need to know about this. Oh, but look at, they see you as a queen of the golden bow. They see you looking great, feeling good, doing well for yourself. They see this, this is very much like Empress energy. This is very much Ten of Coins energy. They do want that number one, a new beginning with you. They see you as, you know, being the only one they want. Okay, what do we have? We also see the Lady of Faith. Oh, you are a person of faith. They see you as a powerful, powerful healing person. A person who has a lot of deep love. Well, you are Scorpio. The shadow of the past hangs over them. Well, it should because that was very, very negative energy. It should hang over them. And it's good that it's hanging over them. It's helping them find their place of... Uh, you know, being better with you, honest with you. What are they going to bring to the table in this relationship? Strength. Good. Okay. And that's Leo energy again. So that is very powerful Leo energy. That King of Wands is Leo energy. So you might be dealing with a Leo. Again, we have, we have change. Oh, they've changed that. They really have changed. And let's see, one more card for you. And let's see what it is. We have purification. Oh, my word. They have really gone through a spiritual awakening. Purification is also that star energy that we saw up here. Purification is purging the negativity. Purification is getting rid of that energy. That is toxic Scorpio. Wow, what a fantastic reading. This is a person that you truly love, that you truly value. It probably took a very long time for you to get over this, but this person is coming back in. I am broadcasting from Chicago. Tell me what city you're viewing the video from. Thanks so much for joining me, Scorpio. Take care, and again, happy holidays. Bye-bye.